First of all, I know nobody's surprised that John King is happy to sell off our land. But know this, the other guys, the guys who we read, the Labour Party, they aren't opposed to the bloody TPPA either. Yeah, that's right. So know this, all of you people who think that you're being strong by voting against national and voting Labour, you're still voting for the bloody TPPA. That's right. yeah. One other thing, one other thing. Look clearly at what the Greens are saying. They have given a conditional condemnation of the TPPA. Yeah. No conditions to opposing the TPPA, folks. You either against it or you're for it. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm saying if we are going to oppose it, we must oppose it absolutely in every single way that we can. And don't take half-assed answers from anybody who thinks that we might be able to get away with a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of something else. Because there's 12 countries in this. Australia, Brunei, Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, Japan, Canada, United States, Mexico, Chile, Peru, and Aotearoa. And in that scheme of things, we don't count. Once we sign the deal, we disappear. There's more people living in bloody Sydney, for God's sake, can live in this country. You think they're going to care what we want after the deal is signed? Hell no! And that's why we must fight it now. That's why we must stop it now. Because once it's signed, your grandchildren are going to say, do you turn to you one day and say, well, what did you do to yourself? Stop our land beast flogged off. And if it all involves was, well I got on the I got on the computer and I see the really nasty flop. Well that's not gonna do anything, eh? The, the day's gonna come and it's gonna come shortly when we're gonna have to stand up to this. Even the little things, the very little things, like trying to sell coin in our own flea market is going to be blocked. The big boys are gonna force all of the coin into the shops and then they're going to determine the kind of kai we're allowed to buy. You won't be able to sell your kai over the fence. All of those of us who put down highies to raise money for our kids to go away, that's going to be stopped. All of that sort of thing will be blocked by people who want to control the food we eat, control the money we pay for that food, and control the people who are going to be allowed to, to sell it to us. So that's what I want us to realize here in Kaitaia. The little stuff is important to all of us. We, we, we pushed hard to try to make this country smoke free. Our government has stopped passing heavy legislation against the tobacco companies because Australia is currently looking like they're going to get sued. And if the TPPA goes free, Australia will lose against big tobacco. And if Australia loses, we ain't going to fight. That's what the TPPA is all about. If the tobacco companies can prove under the TPPA that New Zealand's legislation is going to stop them making the profits that they've been able to make, they can take us to this court that Nina was talking about, which is located somewhere nowhere near here, and our government will have to go over there and fight them. And you think our government's big enough to, to fight big tobacco? and they could buy us and sell us in a fleet. In fact, Big Tobacco, Big Tobacco lost a case in the United States against a number of, of, the, of the states of the US. And they paid out 53, listen to this folks, they paid out $53 billion. And they're still selling fucking cigarettes. 
They don't think that we're going to be able to stop them. Don't think we're going to be able to go to some World Trade Court and bring, them, bring those guys, because we aren't. The only way to stop them is to stop our own blood-sucking leaders from signing the bloody thing in the first place. We have to do it. We're going to carry that. And, you know, when they come to you, say, do you support the TPPA or not? And if it's a not, say, well, sign the bloody thing and put it in the paper. Make them front up. Make them mind up to the fact that they are going to oppose it or not. Don't let them say, oh, yeah, well, if we can get this bit and if we can get that bit, oh, bullshit. The national government thinks they're going to protect the dairy industry under the TPPA. Mate, they may not have noticed, but dairy's just gone down the hole in a big way. They ain't going to save it with the TPPA. It's already gone. We, the little people, have to start doing something to send a signal to those people in Wellington that we are serious. You can ask Ruben how serious they're getting, because he's getting phone calls from all over the country trying to get him to organise a march to Wellington. Poor old Ruth. He's just about to start his business and now everybody wants him to march to Wellington. If it happens, everybody, know that it can't just be a march to Wellington, eh? Well, I'd say block every bloody main road up and down the country until government, until, until we bring the economy to its knees. It's going to have to be that kind of serious. And the other thing too is, and I see it all over my Facebook, all over everybody's Facebook, everybody said, yeah, go, go, on in, you fight that TPPA. Yeah. We've got to get everybody off the Facebook and onto the streets if it's going to happen. This is serious stuff. And, you know, I haven't even mentioned what I'm about to mention now, the Treaty of Waitaki. If in this little country, our treaty goes up against all the other pieces of legislation in all of those other countries, you think anybody's going to notice? You think the treaty's going to get noticed at the World Trade Court? We won't be able to defend the treaty there because the deal is between those foreign corporations and our government. We will have to rely on our government defending the Treaty of Waitangi. Like, 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 like what they've done up until now has been anywhere. They're the last ones I have defending the Treaty of Waitangi. We're not even allowed to go to that court to raise this. We won't be able to. So when people talk about their treaty rights under the TPPA, there's supposed to be a treaty exception clause. We took it to the Waitangi Tribunal. I was there when the tribunal said to the government lawyers, okay, we think the Māoris have got a case. You, government, may be right. Tell you what, let us see the TPPA. Show us the text. And the government lawyer said, nah, we're not going to show you because you might show the Māoris. And so the tribunal, this is a division of the Department of Justice in this country. The tri tribunal said to them, well, if anyone, what about you just show us the treaty exception clause and we won't let anybody else see it, just us. What about that? And the government said, nah. They're not going to let anybody see it. It's like any other deal. Would you sign, would you sign a deal that you went out the read? Well, we're expected to accept the deal the National is going to sign off on our behalf, which they call the TPPA. So yeah, be afraid, folks. Be seriously afraid about what's happening here. It's an ongoing, it's an ongoing thing. I hear the corridor about uh, the loss of our lands and our inability to stop foreign investors, foreign corporations from buying our lands. It's just going to get worse under the, under the TPPA because our own government will not even be allowed to stop them even if they wanted to. Because we are to open up our shores to everybody. And the really funny thing is, the really funny thing is, we're doing it because our government thinks we should all have free trade all around the world. And that's what Roger Douglas did when he opened this country up 20 odd years ago. The funny thing is, we've got free trade and America hasn't. Because they've got heaps of tariffs and heaps of rules blocking all kinds of things from going into America. Classic example, Harley Davidson. 
Harley Davidson was going to go down the toilet because the Japanese were making better bikes. So the American government imposed a massive ta tariff on the Japanese bikes, made them so expensive that Harley was able to survive. They do it all the time. We don't. And do you really think that in a free trade argument, when we go to the World Trade Court, we're going to be able to say, uh, America's stopping us from selling our butter into, into the United States. America's going to say, shut the fuck up. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. 